All right, thank you for staying with us. Yes, I have the first public relations officer, uh, Olumiwa Adejobi, who's joining me live from Abuja for updates on happenings uh, at the city uh, city center. W what is uh, the update? We, uh, uh, what would you tell us about uh, the restriction to some locations for this protest? How are the protesters complying to this order? Well, thank you. I I, my job is to give you updates across the country, not only in the federal capital territory. Okay. We are aware now that you're having a riotous situation uh, in the country, and this is not what we expected in, in the first instance. We expected the organizers of this protest to abide by the rule. In many states, they, they are, they are, they are agreement that the uh, protesters should be confined in designated locations in most of our big cities, in fact, across the country where we have this protest. But you agree with me that there is no group that has not violated this agreement because everybody is in the street, everybody is doing what he likes. There is no planned movement again, street procession everywhere, uh, and what have you. And I think uh, we are concerned about the dimension this uh, protest is taking. Because if we, we notice what we, that happened yesterday, just barely two hours into the protest, uh, we have recorded many ugly incidences across the country, and particularly in most of the major cities, uh, where we're having cases of looting, uh, attacks on police officers and other security agencies, uh, vandalization or vandalism of police vehicles and APC at uh, Kaduna, uh, setting ablaze. Uh, it local government secretariat in uh, uh, the Sul Niger area. And of course, the, the, what, the, the rioters, because not, not by now, let's use the right word for many of them. Uh, the rioters did in Kano, we had the looted uh, so many things, and we were able to recover some of these looted items from them. So for now, uh, I think any reasonable leader who has put this protest together should have withdrawn from this protest now. So that we, we will know those we are dealing with, we will know those that we see in the streets uh, taking over everywhere uh, as described as rioters. I wonder why many will not be able to differentiate between uh, protesters and rioters. Station where we have anarchy, where we have a case of acid that is setting a blaze property, where we have armed robbery, where we have looting, where we have destruction, massive destruction of private and public property. I think it is no more a case of protest, it's a case of riot, and it's becoming riotous. And uh, even in Abuja here, around 9.30, 10 p.m. yesterday at Lube, those who uh, reside in this area will testify that we were able to engage uh, some of the harmed hoodlums. Uh, we engaged them in a fierce gun battle for some minutes. And that's why the command has called on people to, to keep watch on those, particularly medical practitioners, to keep watch on... Uh, those patients that have bullet wound. So if you have a situation, we're having a situation like this, I want us to be objective, uh, to be reasonable enough in the interest of this country, in the interest of all of us who are citizens of this country, to advise whoever that is still uh, planning or carrying on with this protest to understand the situation uh, and withdraw from this protest. So we, uh, the IGP has made it clear yesterday in his live broadcast that we are on a red alert. All our officers yeah. and security agencies across the country have been put on red alert to make sure we don't call, we don't uh, record any ugly incidents anywhere in Nigeria again. We will not allow we will not allow anybody or any group of persons to take over the system, to adjust the system, or to exhibit in any way his intentions towards the society, to the present uh, government or the Nigerian nation. So we we must be on the same page. This is not the time we come on here and we try to exercise our right and blow BB grammars. We just, you should just be objective and reasonable now to assess what we have on ground. Is this what they planned for? No, it is not what they have planned for. Their voices have been heard. When they gather somewhere, for those who are still the new protesters, carrying out the protest, I expect them by now, they should have, been, uh, they should have moved to where they have chosen for them. Um, designated places to do their protests. Media will cover them. Their letter of request will be submitted 
to the CP, to the governor, or to the speaker for how one relate to Mr. President. So by now, I'm sure their voices have been heard for those who are out for genuine protest. So by now, they should like, withdraw from this process. Let us know we are dealing with rioters who want to run down the system, who want to cause pain, sorrow, tears, and agonies to innocent Nigerians. The IGP has made it clear that commissioners of police should be giving us transparent, adequate, and prompt situation reports across the country. As so far, so good. We are, we are having issues. We are going to engage them professionally, tactically, and diplomatically. Uh, it's, the soul of an average Nigerian is so important to the IGP, it's so important to us, and I'm sure so important to the government of, of this country. So we don't want to, to lose anybody, and that's why we have been trying to be civil enough. We've been trying to be professional enough. But they are right. So the same constitution that provided the, the rights for, for them to protest, the same constitution that provided the same right for others to enjoy their human rights, and for police, officers, and law enforcement agencies to make sure there's no breakdown of law and order in any part of this country. So, so far, we are engaging where we should. Where we need to apply a minimum force to disperse these rioters, we are going to do so. Mm -hmm. And where we think we need to talk to them as Nigerians, those that are reasonable, we are going to do so. You can only engage any crowd that is peaceful. You can only engage any crowd that is reasonable. Where they are welding guns, they are welding stones, they are throwing bottles. I don't think any officer or any uh, governor will want to address them. So we, the, the situation we have now has gone beyond the issue of pressing home our demands uh, democratically or in line with the provisions of the Constitution. It's a hierarchical situation in many places. And when it gets to this place, we need to change our tactics and adopt uh, the, the, the measures provided for by law and as practice anywhere in, in the world in line with the uh, basic principle for use of force and firearms as a strength in some of the treaties of the United Nations, uh, which have been domesticated in Nigeria here. And we want to appeal to our people to understand us, to be on the same page with us, because we cannot afford to record any anarchy in Nigeria at this crucial moment we will have. Detailed report there, I must say, a detailed update. Uh, that's ACP Moiwa Adejobi, the first public relations officer. Thank you. We'll get back to you again, of course. And you get back to us, let us know when there are updates for us uh, around the nation. I'm here, with, I'm here with you anytime. Anytime you want me, just back on me. Yeah, I'm no. at your service and the service of Nigerians. I'll give know. you an update. Thank you. I, I, I and enjoy right. the rest of the day. All right.